This is the Ticonderoga. Let me read you what the sign outside of this great, vast, beautiful boat says. It was built in 1906 in Shelburne, Vermont. The original owner was the Champlain Transportation Company, and it was moved to the Shelburne Museum in Shelburne, Vermont in 1955. The 220-foot Ticonderoga is America's last remaining walking beam side wheel passenger steamer and a National Historic Landmark. Serving a daily north-south route on Lake Champlain, the boat transported passengers as well as local farm produce, livestock, and dry goods. The Ticonderoga was used as a troop ferry during both world wars and in later years had a brief career as a floating casino. In 1955, the steamer was moved two miles overland on specially laid tracks from Shelburne Bay to the museum. This remarkable feat was captured on film and is shown daily. Today, the boat portrays life on board in 1923, and listening stations provide first-hand accounts of work and travel. And this is where that happens. And this is the huge steam room, where you can see that the steam engine was built in Hoboken, New Jersey. Yay for Hoboken. Let's take a little walk, shall we? The first stop that we're gonna make is the purser's office. On the Ticonderoga, the purser held an important role in ensuring the smooth operation of the steamship and attending to the needs of the passengers. The purser, short for purser and ticket agent, was responsible for various administrative and customer service tasks. One of the primary duties of the purser was managing the financial transactions aboard the ship. They oversaw the ticket sales, collected fares from passengers, and maintained accurate records of passenger manifests and accounts. The purser also handled currency exchange for international travelers and kept track of onboard purchases made by passengers. He played a crucial role in passenger services. They served as a point of contact for passengers providing information, answering questions, and assisting with any concerns or requests. The purser ensured that passengers' accommodations were properly assigned and addressed any issues related to cabin assignments, seating arrangements, or special requirements. The purser also had a hand in organizing and coordinating shipboard events and activities. They worked closely with the captain and crew to schedule entertainment, such as live music performances, dancing, and other recreational programs. In short, the purser made sure all the passengers had a great time and would be coming back again. Passengers had the pleasure of indulging in delectable meals served in the ship's elegant dining room where expert chefs prepared culinary delights that satisfied even the most discerning palates. The Ticonderoga's cuisine was renowned for its fresh seafood, locally sourced ingredients, and exquisite presentation. Throughout its operational years, the Ticonderoga served as a beloved symbol of Lake Champlain's rich maritime heritage. It fostered a sense of camaraderie among its passengers who shared not only a voyage, but also a deep appreciation for the lake's beauty and the serenity it provided. Over time, as modern transportation options emerged, the Ticonderoga's role diminished. However, its legacy lives on as a testament to the golden era of steamships and a cherished icon of Lake Champlain. Today, the Ticonderoga has found a new home at the Shelburne Museum in Shelburne, Vermont, where it is preserved as a floating museum exhibit, allowing visitors to step back in time and immerse themselves in the grandeur of this historic steamship. The steamship's upper deck provided ample space for leisure and relaxation. 
Passengers could stroll along the promenade, taking in the refreshing lake breeze and admiring the scenic beauty that surrounded them. Comfortable deck chairs invited them to lounge in the sun or engage in lively conversations with fellow travelers. The Ticonderoga's primary purpose was to ferry passengers between the northern and southern reaches of Lake Champlain. It traveled along a picturesque route, passing by charming towns, verdant islands, and majestic mountains that adorned the lake shores. The journey offered passengers a unique opportunity to experience the natural splendor of the region in a luxurious and leisurely manner. But as we all know, it took a lot of people to operate a ship like this. Let's take a look at the behind the scenes operation in the kitchen and in the room where the crew would have resided.